Alrighty, gonna try to hook up an AudioVox CCS100 cruise control to a 1994 Toyota pickup. Um, I'm not a mechanic, so take this tutorial, quote unquote, with a grain of salt. Um, if you do try this at home, don't blame me, and be safe. That's about it. Um, instructions say that you should not hook up the servo unit, the throttle body cable, or to the throttle body right here. You know, there is a nice little place for it. Um, not exactly sure why, but probably there for a reason. Um, they say you should hook up to the um, accelerator pedal instead. So, I found a nice little pre-drilled hole in the firewall right there. Uh, there's a little plug for it. Gonna poke a hole in, run the wires and the cable through. And that goes all the way through into the, for lack of a better term, cockpit. And hopefully the cable should reach the accelerator pedal. Uh, it seems like it will. And we'll find out. Alright, so that hole right down in there didn't work out. The cable was too short on the servo unit. So I found another one. It's a little bit buried, but it's on the driver's side. Just uh, behind the, looks like, kind of traps, I'm not sure. Next to the uh, brake console. So, let's go there, a little rummer grommet, a little bit smaller, um, it's about that big, and it's just right back in there. Alright, as you can see, I've got the servo mounted, servo, servo unit mounted right here, um, it's on the power steering bolt, connected right down there, uh, and also, um, you got the little bracket down there with the uh, three holes showing that that's in the fourth one. You've got to switch that around from when you get it. Um, not too big a deal. There's just three Phillips screws in there. Um, let's see. Ground wire. I have running along there. Not over here. And there's already handily a uh, ground bolt right there. So just hook that up and you're good to go. I uh, got the blue tack wire going around over to here. Leave this red noise suppression thing on. Coming in. Uh, connects to the black wire. Had this little cap on. It says ignition, or ignition support. Uh, you can see underneath. I don't know how well this is going to turn out. Yeah, well, anyway, it's the black wire uh, between the fuses and the diagnostic center. And, let's see, still have to, oh, where did I put that? Crap. Um, here it is. Blew off my little thing. I uh, got the hole punched in it. Sort of see it there. Um, got to route servo cable and all these wires. Got red black, yellow, purple, green, and brown to go through into the passenger area through that little hole of which this grommet was a part of. Okay, so as you can see I got the uh, servo cable and the wires I need to go into the passenger area through the grommet. Just uh, poked a little hole and stuffed them through. And, oh yes, by the way, vacuum cable I have right here goes around top through plugged it in there was a cap on this one um, just truck came like that pulled that off plugged it on here and uh, I talked to the guy at the Toyota dealership he said uh, that one might not draw enough vacuum so um, if I do stick with you with using that then I might have to also build some sort of little canister, much like this one, um, as, a re as a reservoir. Otherwise, I'd have to tap into this one. Um, the kit comes with the right size T connector. Basically, cut it right there and put the connector on. Here we are on the driver's side, under the dashboard. You can see it comes out 
just behind the uh, behind the gas pedal. So it's gonna have to come in and loop around somehow. So it can attach up there. I see that white thing that's moving. That's the top of the gas pedal lever. Got to connect it to that. Makes life a whole lot easier if you take off this uh, gray panel here. There's four screws and one bolt. Oh, screw, 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 bolt. Take those out, comes right off. All right, as you can see, I got the uh, driver knee panel off. To take the uh, cover all the way out, so you can lie down on the floor there. Got to undo the speaker cable. There's a clip right here. Let's push that in. Comes undone. Should. Right like that. Then this is just like, uh, sort of like the throttle cable. Or... Uh, Alright. So, just got to loosen... The, come, there's a uh, little slot for it to come out. Right there. Then pull the cable out, and then there's another slot so that you can get it all the way out. Then you can put that piece just wherever you want. The kit comes with these connectors. Um, plug in the wires, color coded. There's just stickers on each one. Makes it very nice and easy. Um, the kit comes with a fuse. There's a whole bunch of extra wiring in here. I have no idea what it's for. But, let me see if I can get it. So, what I did was um, there's, okay, there's the red and black. It's out of this big connector. Um, this was already here, don't know what it's for. But that turned out to be positive with the ignition on. So I tapped into that with the a fuse that came with the kit. There, it's a 3 amp fuse. Orange side to there. The red side came plugged in already to this uh, clip that they provided. Um, let's see what else is around here. Yeah, that's about it for there. Um, looking up to the brake switch, this is a real treat. Um, Japanese car, they're small people. They can fit back there better than I can. I had a really good struggle with it. Um, behind this spring is your brake switch right, right up in there. You can sort of see the connectors. Flashlight. Alright, let's see. Um, there we go. Alright, so there's my connectors. Um, they're really hard to get to. The clip for the switch is on the back side uh, towards the center of the car. It's very hard to get to. Hard to unclip it. Just gotta work with it a little bit and it should come undone. Um, once it's unclipped it slides out really easy. Um, yeah, make sure you get the positive and the negative right on the brake switch otherwise the cruise control won't work. Later on once I get sick of just working it by uh, holding the switch, probably going to mount it right around in here somewhere so it's easy to get to. You can see it from the driver's side, or from the driver's spot, so maybe right about there. Uh, they give you a template for it. You've got to drill two holes, carve out what's in what's inside, stick the wires through, and on the back is uh, sticky stuff. Just pull that off, and it should stick pretty nicely to there. Uh, might sand it down a little bit so that it gets better grip because vinyl is not the greatest thing for stickiness or for getting stuff that you want to stick to it to stick to it. 